We are in the Basilica of Sacred Heart, where Don Bosco in the Wanli Mass is celebrated here on the day after the church's consecration, May 16, 1887, reviewed his entire life in the light of the dream at the age of nine, amidst tears of emotion and gratitude. We have chosen this Salesian holy place for the 10th and final video seed, Lifelong Accompaniment. Don Bosco is the best example of lifelong accompaniment. He was a great guide for many young people and young saints because he himself always allowed to be inspired and guided. It is enough to remember Don Cafaso, a constant point of reference for 19 years from Don Bosco's arrival as a young priest in Turin until the death of Father Cafaso. Accompaniment is the most qualified service that as Salesians we are called to render in various ways to all young people. Being personally accompanied is all the more necessary for us as responsibilities entrusted to us increase. Having a good experience of accompaniment during initial formation becomes a valuable help in learning to treasure accompaniment, especially when the initial formation is over. This is also a clear invitation that comes from Pope Francis and the ecclesial orientations of recent years to be guided guides. How much has the value of accompaniment been enhanced during the journey of formation that I have experienced up to now? How does the current experience prepare me to make accompaniment a permanent resource for the years to come and to become a good accompanier of young people and confess myself? What can be done at the community level to improve the experience of accompaniment for each and everyone? We close here the series of 10 video seeds, giving the final word to Father Ivo Coelho, Counselor for Formation, and Father Angel Fernandez Artime, Rector Major, in the room where Don Bosco lived in his last day here in Sacred Heart, Rome. This 10th video seed concludes this series of videos and materials to encourage reading and sharing of young Salesians and accompaniment orientations and guidelines. We hope that these tools have been useful and above all that the journey does not end here, but on the contrary that it begins here. Salesian life and mission are all ultimately experiences of accompaniment, just like the disciples at Emmaus in the Gospel and like Don Bosco with the young people and the Salesians in the first oratory of Aldoco. We ask for a final word from Father Angel, who has always strongly believed in and encouraged this process, which began in the early months of his first term as Rector Major and now is spread throughout our communities. They are young people in conference. My greeting in appeal at the conclusion of the first swing through these videos and related materials is that the seed of Salesian accompaniment may bear in each of your 30, 60, 100 percent fruits. Accompaniment is formation and mission. Living accompaniment will allow us in turn to become valued traveling companions of young people, just as Don Bosco was for Magone, for Savio, following King Alvera, Rua, Caliero, Rinaldi, having able to guide the generations of young people and Salesians all the way to us. It is a seed that identifies with Don Bosco's charism and mission. And it is what the young people have expressly asked of us during the 18A general chapter. Let us not disappoint them. In order to respond to them, we must first of all be guided guides in all the seasons of our lives, starting 
with the one we are living, beginning with today. Guided guides starting from today.